President Goodluck Jonathan said government is not in a position to provide institutions that could accommodate all timid Nigerians who are yearning for education and the need for more private-owned universities. The president explained that without private sector contributions to education, Nigeria cannot attain meaningful development. He disclosed that government will continue to encourage private universities in the area of infrastructure. We must encourage private universities. We must encourage private investors. We must work out ways of encouraging private investors in terms of infrastructure because they are helping to create platforms, institutions for our children. These are responsibilities of government. So I will thank you and we will use this opportunity to continue to encourage the private sector that are in, uh, investing in, uh, in schools, nursery, primary, secondary and tertiary. In this address of welcome, founder of Ego Heights University, Pastor Ayo Orisa Jaffo, who is also the National President, Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, said the purpose of establishing the university was to build an engine room of social economic development and spiritual renewal in academic, business, and civil society. On Chibok Secondary School guests, Pastor Orisa Jaffo assured that the church will continue to pray for their freedom and appeal to the insurgents to have a rethink and release the children unconditionally. I appeal to those who have influence and access to the young men perpetrating this evil to have a rethink and release these young girls unconditionally. President Jinota was accompanied on the visit by the Minister of Finance, Dr. Okonja Iwela, Supervising Minister of Education, Wike Inyoso, and some senators. President of the Delta State Governor, Dr. Emmanuel Udwaga, the Ulu of Wari, His Royal Highness, Ogyame Atuashi II, High Chief Government, Ekumopolo, also known as Tompolo, traditional rulers, and top government functionaries. William Siama, reporting.